So here we have the test setup for going NTSC uh, composite video output for the Model 1 TRS-80 replacement motherboard. A little test board with a little ATF-1504 CPLD, uh, which is a 44-pin PLCC variant. You have a 25.175 megahertz oscillator and two resistors. And that's all you need to do the video output, at least the video generation part of it. Uh, the code is written in Couple, which is the language that you use for the CPLD. Relatively simple uh, setup. It's a, um, a set of counters for the uh, horizontal and the vertical, and then you use those counters here at the bottom to generate a couple signals about when the display is active and when you're doing the vertical sync. And then you output two signals, uh, a sync output signal and a pixel output signal. And on the little perf board here, those go to two different resistors, so they get added together to give you kind of the right voltage levels for a 75 ohm NTSC input. Uh, if you look in the oscilloscope, you can see the capture, so that those little lower dips there, those are the vertical refreshes, and then a bunch of horizontal refreshes. That part here where there's more stuff is the actual pixel data, and if you kind of zoom in on that, you can see there's the horizontal refresh for each line, a little bit of space before the start of pixel data, a little space at the end, and then the next uh, line. And then over here on the display, we have an outputting bar, so the CPLD just outputs eight pixels on and eight pixels off on the horizontal scan, so you get these little bars. Um, but it seems to work great. It's not super, super perfect because this is on a perf board, so it's really, really, really noisy um, with that kind of frequency. You don't usually do 25 megahertz on those little white perf boards. Uh, but the signal looks fine. It synchronizes to it, no problem. This is the 240p sort of NTSC format where it's not really interlaced. It's a progressive, so it's only doing the, um, uh, the odd fields right now, uh, which works fine on this monitor and will probably work fine on almost any monitor. I have a TRS-80 Model 1 uh, monitor here, one of the originals. I'll try that and make sure that it works, but I'm relatively confident that it will. Um, you can change things in the CPLD if you want to move the image around left or right or up and down, but this ended up being pretty centered without really any tweaks at all. Um, in this mode, we're actually doing 512 pixels by 192. So this is actually a little bit more like a Model 3 in terms of the pixel layout, um, but we can do either one. And uh, that's all you need. So just one CPLD, and it's using about, I think, 40 of the 64 logic cells, primarily because the counters take up a lot of logic. Um, but there probably is enough for also to do the RAM addressing in the same CPLD. Uh, but other than the two resistors, that's all you need to get a, a uh, output to an NTSC uh, composite TV. So we'll get this now finished up and start working on the rest of the Model 1 motherboard.